been a really long time since I filmed and posted anything. I feel like I lead every video with that. But I'm just so inconsistent and I'm really sorry about that. Thank you for sticking around and staying subscribed if you have. Um, I've just had the most ridiculous couple of months of my life. And I've just had no time or like desire to do anything K-pop related. But I want to talk about that a bit later as we go along. Today I'm essentially going to be sleeving, organising and storing some TXT photo cards. I don't have a ton. I've had a Neo Kyo order come in. This was my Neo Kyo order and then this was some group order stuff, some album cards and I want to say DMI Muse cards as well. But I thought if I sleeved and then stored and organised, it might be a bit of a longer video <laughs> other than me just putting away these minuscule amount of cards. So we're going to sleeve, we're going to store and we're going to talk because I feel like I have a lot to vent about, talk about. All that sort of stuff. So I'm just going to quickly organise it into Taehyun and non Taehyun, and then we can just start sleeping from there. Okay, so these are my piles. These are my album photo cards. I, honest to God, have no idea how many of these I need. These were for a signed album group order, and I don't think I sent in any wish lists, so I just got random sorting <laughs> because I didn't care enough to send in a wish list. So I'm going to sleeve all of it. Um... And then obviously I will take out or just not put in the cards that I don't end up needing. As always, I'm using Dragon Shield Japanese size matte clear sleeves for this. So wow, it's been, I think it's been over a month since my last one, which was my Taehyun birthday storing video. And oh my God, so much has happened since then. <laughs> TXT have announced a new comeback. The... I'm excited for but also not excited for for a couple of reasons as well and my personal life has just been absolutely insane I guess my first thing that I'm just having issues with at the moment in terms of feeling excited for their new comeback is that when I think about the cards and I think about joining group orders all I can think of is I haven't completed freefall because all of my cards haven't arrived yet like I'm still waiting for two main group orders to come in and I just have no idea when they're gonna arrive and it's not like they're Yeezy U ones like if it was a Yeezy U group order I understand like I know that they're not going to arrive on time and I'm perfectly okay with that um and in fact I am still missing some Yeezy U stuff but I don't care as I said because I understand that when you join those group orders they take a long time but I know that the cards I'm waiting for are on hand with these group order managers and I've sent like I've sent my address forms and I've paid for postage and I've paid for things and they're still just not being sent and I try to extend a lot of patience to group order managers because I know that it's a really tough gig I know it's a really hard thing especially when you have loads of group orders going on and loads of different orders but at a certain point my patience wears thin and I feel really bad about it but it's kind of like my, my, my Korean pobs are all with one person. I have all my round two lucky draw stuff with another person and other fan sign cards. And I'm just like, I'm past the point of even wanting the cards. But what's really annoying is I feel like I can't join any group orders for tomorrow because I have at least 150 to 200 pounds still wrapped up in cards that I haven't received yet. Um... And I'm like, I don't want to spend more money when I don't know when I'm going to get my other stuff, if that makes sense. And it's just, it's getting to me. It's really getting to me. This feels good. I haven't really done anything K-pop in a very long time. Um, these cards I've had, my group order, sorry, my Neo Kyo order came quite a while ago. I've had them unboxed for a while. I just haven't sleeved or put them away. And I feel happy looking at them now. Like I feel, I feel happy that I'm doing this and it, it does make me feel very pleasant. Um, but sometimes I really struggle. I've been struggling because I've just lost the will to want to do it with all of the group order issues I've been having. And then my second kind of complicated issue at the minute is I'm having work problems. Uh, I'm not gonna go into too much detail, but the long and short of it is I was on a two year contract and I was told that at the end of my contract, I would still be able to work there. Um, and they told me a little while ago that, no, actually, we're not going to employ you for at least six months. 
and I've basically just been left without income and I, it's just completely thrown me for a loop because a lot of other stuff's been going on and then losing the financial security aspect of life just really was not ideal especially because in order to be good at k-pop youtube and to be good at k-pop collecting i guess you need to be constantly spending money you need to like literally you need to be buying photo cards every week you need to be buying albums every week the videos that get the most views are always like unboxing 10 copies of this album or unboxing a massive haul of 50 plus albums i need this sneeze oh my god <coughs> Yeah, but as I was saying, the, the videos that get the most views are always, they're like, um, storing 200 photo cards or unbox 100 photo cards with me. And the thing that no one talks about, no one ever talks about it, is how expensive it is to maintain that sort of lifestyle for your channel. Um, I like to think I'm very transparent about how much all of this costs, and I will get into how much this costs, because, oh my god, this was a really annoying Neo Kyo order to place. But... It costs a lot of money sometimes and when you then don't have that money coming in, like I'm not, it's not like I'm gonna go completely broke and I'm struggling like that, it's not, I'm very financially secure still because I save a lot as well, but I'm at the point where I don't feel like I can buy anything because I don't have any money coming in at the moment and I don't just want to see money going out and it's really, it's a whole situation and it's meant that I've made no Neo Kyo purchases, no Poker Market purchases. I haven't joined a single group order for TXT's new album because I don't feel like I can. Um, logically, I know I can, but I just don't want to end up with 20,000 albums. I don't want all my money wrapped up in with group order managers. So I'm sort of thinking that I'm going to buy some albums on release day and then I'm just going to buy all the other cards on KTwit or Neo Kyo or something else. I think I'm past the point of wanting to be part of the Instagram group order situation because I'm kind of tired of having that middleman who has things that I paid for and that I don't have them yet. And that's basically where we're at. So it's it's just been two terrible things that have mushed at the same time that have really impacted the way that I care about K-pop. We've had group order issues and then me somewhat losing my job and as a result I've just been completely like humbled and disillusioned with the amount of money that I was spending on stuff just sending strangers money basically so I'm thinking of bringing it all in-house for the next comeback I will be collecting I will still be doing all that I have birthday stuff on the way I still love TXT and I am still incredibly excited about that aspect of it I'm just hoping that I can get back on my feet before April um, which isn't looking good, but we can try. And I'm just gonna try my best. I'm gonna see what I can do. And that is my little rant. That is my little life update out the way. I hope everyone else is doing well and that your lives haven't combusted the same way that mine have. I hope you're all excited for the new era as well. And I'm gonna get my OT5 binder so we can start putting cards away. Okay, so here is my incredibly neglected OT5 binder. I've made like zero progress on this in a very, for a very long time. Um, first thing I'm gonna do is try and organize this into people. I have a lot of Kai. You can immediately see all the Kai dupes. I have some more inclusion slots coming, I think, from another group order, but whether they will arrive ever, I genuinely don't know at this point. But let us put these cards away. Where do I? Okay. I have one Subin, Melancholy. Is that the middle one? I'm really bad at this. Reality. Yeah. So I'm going to put it on the bottom slot just because I feel like it balances things out a little bit. I don't even know how much these cards are going for at the minute because I just haven't. They're not sleeved. Why didn't I sleeve those? I don't care. Um, I haven't even looked at resale in a very long time. For Bongyu, I have two, one of which is a dupe because I sent, I traded my old one with a friend. So we're kind of exactly where we were with Bongyu. <sighs> Are these cards like easy to find still or have I just like completely screwed myself over in terms of <laughs> sorting this out? So many Kai's that I don't need. So what's the situation here? 
we've got a melancholy, a reality, clarity, melancholy. Oh my clarity for sugar. I don't even think I've completed him. Oh my god. Okay, oh well. That's fine. That's sleeves that I can reuse. So we're missing two cards for Kai now. Reality. Put it up there. Uh, no, we'll put it down there. Just to balance everything out. Again, this is all subject to change. Oh, that's the same card. Shit. Oh, right, I'm missing three. I'm so stupid. I'm missing three for Kai. Okay, well, I'll put him down there as well, I guess, to balance things out for now. This slot, I still haven't determined what I'm doing. I have, hopefully, an OT5 set of um, the invitation Lucky Draws coming in, but I don't know whether that's going to annoy me that they're different outfits. So maybe I'll try and get a Weverse OT5 set. But again, literally no idea. Um, and that is everything for OT5. <laughs> this binder man I really need to sit down and just bulk buy this stuff but with a comeback looming it's not gonna happen is it I'm hoping we don't get as many cards as with 3-4 55 or however many it was was ridiculous far too much far too much hi if you're listening which you probably aren't can we go for like six again I really liked when there were six cards per member um, I'm gonna grab my Tejon binder. Haven't been in this beast for a really long time, so I don't know how this is gonna go. Okay, I'm hoping that's centered. So this is where we're at with free fall. Um, I don't know how much I'm gonna be adding to the earlier pages because a lot of what's missing here is Korean store lucky draw, sorry, Korean store pre-order cards, which as I said, are all with a person on Instagram. What I have here are more album dupes because why not we're going to put those to the side because we know that they're not going to be needed we have dear my muse which is a mark on it is that just underneath the card okay we have dear my muse we have naver we have k-town we have two years of cards apparently and then we have the japanese six lucky drawers the seven because i somehow ended up with a duplicate i don't know this this Neoki order, I had to split it into two again. It was so expensive. These Japanese luckies, oh my god. They came down in price, but some of them, these two in particular, were absolute nightmares. Nightmares. It was so annoying. They were so expensive. And I was trying to buy them as a bulk listing, and they kept getting cancelled. They kept getting refunded. And it was getting on my nerves. So, did I overpay for some of them? Possibly. Did I care at that point in time? No. In hindsight, knowing what I know now about my finances and my life, do I regret it? A little bit, but they're also really cute. They're like slightly transparent cards, but they are so adorable, so I can't complain. I didn't know that these were easy use, so I could very well have these on the Wayne Group orders. Um, and I could have overpaid. Don't know. K-Town are so cute. Um, and then these two DMI Muse cards. Again, possibly one of my favourite. I still think I'm going to do a page of Blonde on if I get enough cards in of that concept. So I'm just going to flick through and see if I have anything to put away in these pages. I do. Something isn't correct here. Something isn't right on this page because there's no way that I would have it like that. So I think someone is in the wrong place. Who is in the wrong place? Who is it? I'm gonna guess that it's him. And that he needs to go there. And he goes there. And then there's a third Korean store lucky draw that goes, I keep saying lucky draw, Korean store pre-order card that's meant to go there. I think I noticed this actually in my storing video originally. And for some reason I decided to do nothing about it. This is just, this is a Korean store lucky draw, I think. So you need to go into that slot. And then this cute neighbor, it's hollow. It is really adorable. You go up there. And then, yeah. Am I happy with that? Yeah, I am happy with that. It does annoy me that he's looking that way, but I, I don't think that is solvable in this instance. <laughs> the next concept I think I need to flick to album wise is gravity so again we're just waiting for korean store pre-order stuff K 
Korean store pre-order stuff. What are we waiting for here? We are waiting for... Card I haven't secured yet. I kind of hate that, actually. I kind of hate that. Why is it so aggressively green? Oh no, am I gonna like change my mind about this? It's so green and nothing else on this page is green. Oh no, okay, we're not, I'm not doing that. I'm not doing that. I'm past the point of allowing myself to do that. This is my tin of ridiculous um, dupes and stuff. I definitely have a dupe in here that I can use. Why do I have a seventh? I'm not gonna question it. Um, these are all upside down. You're coming. You're being chosen. Oh, I know what happened on this page. This page is also incorrect. I put the selfies in the wrong places. I don't think it's gonna fix my issue though. Um, or maybe it will. Crap, I don't know. I'm just talking at this point. Why does that feel so sick? I don't know. These are meant to be like this, I think. So. Oh my god, go in. At least I'm sure that when I was looking back at my plans, that's what it looked like I wanted to do. So, thinking. 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 It's still very aggressively green, but I think. Or maybe like that. Okay, I kind of like that more. I don't know if it's made that much of a difference, but I kind of like that more. I would like it if it was that, because then every colour kind of matches. But we'll go with this for now. And I still need to get an extra copy of this Weaver. I don't know why I haven't got that yet. Oh my god, this dirt. There we go. And then Neva going down there. And then this one is going up there. Okay, we're just missing one card for that one. We're just missing my duplicate Weverse pre-order card, which I'll get eventually. So now we're entering the mess. We're entering, we're entering this disaster class of cards. I think for now. Oh, oh crud. Oh crud. So if this is going to be a page of Blonte Hyun, which it may or may not end up being, I'm not sure yet. I have these, obviously that's two, that's two, and then that one's a duplicate. These are like matching outfits, kind of. I don't know how I want to do this. I don't know whether I want, I kind of think if I am turn it into a page of its own, right. Also, why were there so many Japanese lucky drawers for this era? Just a question to Hive Entertainment. Why? What was the need for there to be six different Japanese lucky drawers? I don't think there was one. So I'm thinking something along these lines, which is my favourite out of these two, possibly that one. Like that. Oh, they are so adorable though. Wait a minute, that doesn't look right. No, oh crap. Oh wait, no, you just need to go there. Okay. Then I have three slots left. And I have uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight cards to put away. I don't know what to do. The only one that kind of matches is that kind of matches that. And like that kind of matches those, but I'm not going to do that. I don't think I'm going to sweat this too much because I still have crap coming in. So it's still subject to change in every possible way. I love this card. This is the Kakao Talk one. I think this is one of the cutest cards in the entire comeback. Just as a little note there. I am thinking that I... I don't know. I don't know what to do. How many blonde... Are there three blonde Taehyung cards or are there four blonde Taehyung cards? There's that one, there's that one, and there's Yeti more, I think, but there could be more. Oh, um, Invitation is blonde. The sound wave round two is Invitation, which is blonde. Okay, never mind. So. And I have two of that on incoming as well. So that's like one, two, three... 
four, five, six. I'm going to end up with a blonde Taehyun page. Because I'm going to end up with a blonde Taehyun page, I'm just going to take them out because they're not going to be on there. They'll probably be at the back, like a special bit on their own. And now I've got six slots and eight cards. Cool. I don't know. I'm thinking maybe you could go there and then the Hyun and Kai unit could go there and that kind of looks cute. And then... Oh no, I don't know what to do. I have so many cards left over and I want all of them in. I like this one. That one's all right. I also really like this as well. Why do I do this to myself where I'm like, don't worry about it, it's subject to change. And then I continue to worry about it anyway. I'm now looking at the backgrounds and thinking that that kind of matches. And I want that one on there, but the background doesn't really match. I mean, that background kind of matches, but kind of not either. So I think we're going to go with that. We're going to go with that. Yeah, I'm happy with that for now. These are already falling out their sleeves. There are so many selfies. I can't believe there's not like a single duplicate on this page. It's actually insane thinking about it, how many cards were released for this era. And how this is my third storing video for it and it's still not done. Imagine if I'd stuck to my guns originally when I said I was going to do just a whole storing my free fall collection in one go. It would have been like a year and a half before I actually posted anything. Oh, no, I actually quite like this page. This is a cute page. I really like these lucky drawers, even if they were a pain to get. And then for now, I just have these three random cards. Well, two, technically. Um, that's a duplicate, which I did want to keep because I really like it. But maybe I can just put it on my shelf or something. So for now, I'm going to put him to the side because he's a duplicate. And I'm just going to tuck these two on the back. And then when the rest of my stuff comes in, whenever that may be, I can do a final rehashing and sort it out a bit. So uh, you need to go into that one. And that one goes in there. Cool. Cute. I'm actually happy with that. That was a lot of cards and a lot of stress and a lot of rambly words, but I hope it was somewhat interesting. So I'm technically, oh my God, I, I don't care. Mm, I do care. Hold on, there's a bit of dirt. Okay, the dirt has gone. <laughs> so yeah, that is everything basically. I have all these extras still and then I have like those cards to put away in future and then we still should we take a look at what my current take and duped pile is because it's still insane this is my current take and dupes for free fall i don't need these cards anymore i don't think i'm going to need any of them ever again because this is just a ridiculous amount of cards to have in my possession especially the album ones and i don't know why i keep sleeving them when i know they're dupes but yeah, so that is my free fall situation at the moment. I really hope that you're doing well wherever you are. I really hope that you are excited for TXT's new album. And I just hope that life is treating you well um, as this new year continues to, you know, exist and put on for, put onto us a lot of distress and all of that sort of stuff. Um, thank you so much for watching if you have and for sticking around if you have. And I will see you all at some point in the future. Bye.